This week we're going to learn how to create and maintain user information across a session rather than across an individual page view. And this is going to require some additional stuff from what we've been doing because HTTP is designed to be a RESTful architecture. And one of the principles of RESTfulness is that no state is maintained in the server about a session. So in a pure RESTful architecture, all of the information you need to process a user query is sent as part of the request, the way we've been doing it with forms and uh, JavaScript and so on. But now we're going to actually look at storing information on the server so that we can maintain state information. So we're going to violate the RESTful principles a little bit, but in a way that's pretty useful. And whenever you're sending information about the user, particularly user password information, you're going to want to send that over a secure connection. So that's where we're going to start this week in how to create and require a secure connection. So I'm going to go ahead and pull up Lab 6 and create a new project. We'll call this Week 7. And it's going to be a PHP empty project. Use the same interpreter, and I'll use this window. So the first problem we're going to run into when we create a secure connection is that watch what happens when I go to https colon slash slash localhost. I get this page. It says your connection is not private, and I can go to advanced and I can proceed to localhost unsafe and then it'll let me access all of the secure pages from my browser until I close down the browser and restart. But there's also a bug in Chrome that sometimes causes cache problems. And so what we're going to do is I'm going to show you a magic flag that you only have to set once and from that point on you're able to access secure connections with localhost directly. So to do that, go ahead and go to Chrome colon slash slash flags. And you should see this page. So these are experimental settings. And if you do control F to find and look, look for a certificate, you'll find allow invalid certificates for resources loaded from localhost allow insecure localhost and you want to enable this. So click enable. You'll get a little button at the bottom to relaunch. So go ahead and click that button. It will restart your browser. And now if I go to https colon slash slash localhost it works. <laughs> 